Hello, you lovely lot. So today we're going to be talking all things connectory. Connectors. It's like, like we're that. doing like a, a new series, aren't we, mate? Sort of like talking you lovely lot through how we go about doing things or how he goes about doing things yeah, more. Little bite-sizey ones, aren't we? Just for the questions that not, we get a not, lot. Not little. Lickle. lickle. I like that, mate. I like yeah, that. Lickle. And <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You've hit the nail on the head there. Obviously, we get quite a few messages all the time, don't we? Yes. Lots um, of you know, how do you do this and how do you do that? And I'm like. I'll ring Jay up and ask him, and then I'll, uh, I'll get back to the folks. Isn't it? It's one of them, isn't it? Yeah, iPhone Bennett. Well, yes, yeah. mate, absolutely. <laughs> eventually we come up with it. Sorry, yeah. Rich, we're leaving you out, mate. No one calls me. <laughs> Just stick a BB on and do that, don't you, mate? Uh, so, yeah, coming back to connectors. So, we'll tell you what we don't really like first. Yeah, but, well, there's pretty much four ways of connecting your elastic to I'm, the end of your, your regular pole, aren't we? I'm having that, mate. Well, yeah, five, I'd say. Yeah, that... Yes. We don't like that one. Let's not talk about that one. Four, four normal ways. Go on then. If Go anything, on. probably three. Because the, the old days was the crow's foot, wasn't there? I'd say that's gone. Now, so that? yeah, crow's foot, folks, is basically just um, having a loop in, in your elastic, looping it over, pulling it tight, and uh, trimming the tag ends off. So it's basically yeah, it's like just, that. It's a knot of elastic yeah, on the end of your elastic. Chop your liner on the end of your pole, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah. Not not one that I'd recommend with hollow elastics. No. Because and it used to twist around your pole, didn't it? Like yeah. strike, you're like, no, you're playing off your pole, snap. It would, yeah, we did like that. But now it, it seems to have gone down the, the three ways, isn't it? Yes. So first off, that we both don't like, and we're going to shout at anyone for using, <laughs> it's the little plastic connectors. You know I, mean? I think there's a place for them um, in tiny elastics. You know I mean? Yeah, right, fine elastics. Yeah, yeah fives and below. That. Definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there's a use to them then. Fives and below? Is there elastic below fives, Jay? There used to be, apparently. There what? Zim, wasn't it? I was what fishing was like black eyes on canal <laughs> yesterday, man. <laughs> but, yeah, you know I mean? there's a place for it in them, which yeah. we won't touch on that. You know I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, right for the situation. But for commercial world, what we're involved in, I don't think there's any place for a plastic connector on the end of your elastic anymore, simply because Again, it, just it knackers wraps, your elastic. It wraps on your pole. Oh, it does that as well, um, yeah. Obviously, when you're going to strike as well, you, you get sort of like that. Uh, drop down first and then you're into the fish, don't you? Yeah, so you're sort of like slack. striking against the connector first and you're into the fish. Yeah, we'll, go, we'll touch on that with Dacron connectors because so I think that's their downfall. But with, with con plastic connectors, I think the problem is the back end of it where you actually you put it through that little sort of PTFE cap, don't you, that goes over the yeah, end. Yeah, I think that rubs on the end of your elastic. You and very quickly, it? you end up with a tear in your elastic it's, just below the knot. It's how you knot it as well. You know what I mean? There's loads of different ways, but yeah. the traditional way is to obviously fold it over like you do a crow's foot. And then it's when you're pulling the elastic tight, you can shear your elastic it as well, can't burns, it? It doesn't it and wear it, yeah. So for hollow elastic, so the amount they cost, the, the 10 quid ago, aren't they, on average, or nearly? Five to 10 quid ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the last that. thing you want to be using is using a poor quality connector yeah. that's going to wear that elastic out before it's Definitely. actually worn out. You know what I mean? So plastic connectors, if you love them, why not? But no, not right. See, whenever we're coaching uh, and we see them, we're like, it's first thing to go in it. Like, right, get into the tackle shop, let's get some Dacrons yeah. or whatever, and then we're going to put them on. It it's right, though, it's isn't it? It's so much nicer. And then you can, you can see the difference in instantly. Yes, so Same leading on to that, so, our preferred ones. What we're we going for? We'll go, go for this one first. No, go we'll go with Dacron, Dacron first. Yeah, because we'll talk about the downfall of Dacron, why it can be wrong. Yeah, so basically with the Dacron, I mean, Rich is going to get expertly zoomed in on this later on, aren't you, mate? But basically, you tie in a little loop. In your elastic, if you can get it off. Can't get it off. Oh, we'll, we'll come no, to that. Don't worry about that. Because at the end of the video, I'm going to show you something. We'll, we'll talk about that. Oh. You're going to show me as well. I'll show you as well. Not yeah. going to keep I've it shown secret. you. You've got one on the end. Oh yeah, yeah. This <laughs> is actual one that Jay actually made for me. I know how to do it myself <laughs> now, folks. But so yeah. take heed and listen to him. Uh, but yeah, basically, so you've got the the little obviously plastic connector which your elastic's trapped in, and then you've got the Dacron here, which you uh, see there's a knot in the end there, and your line goes on that, and it's it's so smooth, isn't it? it it's great for not damaging your elastic as well yeah. there's, there's no sharp edges it's just it's the need of for me i don't use it the other way i use that crons for 100 percent of my fishing so the, the the trouble with it is obviously as we found out through shallow fishing, though, isn't it? Yes. You, you've still got that little bit of bit of giving the Dacron there. Now, lightning fast F1s, what we were noticing was that was flickering like that. And that was the F1s taking a bait, but not, not registering yeah. on it. They, oh, they can be right pains at times, these F1s. So that's why we come on to this beauty here. Excuse me. Now, with all that is, all right, mate, we're keeping you up. I'm tired, aren't you? need some of Rich's monster, don't you, mate? Yeah. <laughs> um, all this is, is basically, um, it's one of the Guru Dacrons. I've taken the Dacron out of it, and I've just left with that plastic bead there. So, literally, all you do, you're putting the plastic bead on first, tying the knot, a line goes behind that knot, 
pull it tight and then you're just putting that back over it. Now that is so smooth because obviously you can imagine your lines well, it's direct isn't behind it? it. Yeah, you're instantly in. More often than not, the fish just hook themselves on it. Yeah, for, for shallow fishing, I'd say that is the best way. Yeah, you, you don't tangle when you're slapping it over anything like that because it's always proud. Yeah. But there's a bit of a flaw with it in that I wouldn't say your line cuts through it, but it does wear all the time. Obviously, when you're pulling your rig yeah, off. it's the same as crow's hook. a bit wrong. I think they put cheeky. Yeah. It's the same as crow's hook. It's exactly the same. You know, when you're coming to release your rig at the end of the session, you're putting that undue stress on that elastic. Yeah. And it wears out, doesn't it? Yeah, you've got to keep a check of it. You've got to keep taking a, a couple of inches off. And that's, for me, that's a downfall of it. When, when you buy an elastic, it does go through it. Yeah. You probably... In a season, you probably go through two elastics when you're fishing shallow. Yeah, definitely. It's um, it's obviously when it's under tension, isn't it, on your on your top kit on the side tray. Yeah, that's when the UV lights get into it. And it can damage it more, but certainly by using them, uh, it will damage them. So what I tend to do is obviously at this end here, I'll have it really set pingy, so I can move this up, and then obviously I can just take a little bit of elastic off that end. Oh, like that, yeah. You know, I can do that, but obviously it's it's not ideal. You just want to be using it straight off all yeah. the time, don't you? Yeah. So what I do to fix that, so I, I use that the same as you've got there. I use that ones. I'll use them. I use my Matrix ones a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Normal, yeah. on the decky type fishing with me heavy elastics, I'll happily use my normal Matrix ones. And that's the thing you've said it there. Fishing on the deck, it's not really a problem, is it? No, it's not. So an obviously, issue you, when bite, it's in you, and over. you get your bite, you strike into it. It's not like fishing yeah. shallow. No, then it is fine. When I'm fishing shallow, what I like to make, which I'm going to make you up in a second, is I make, you make me ones. One. I'll make you one as well. Do you know what I mean the most simple things in the world to make? Yeah. And you end up with a. I actually make me dacrons. So in that case, you've got probably what. Inch of line sticking out from the Dacron yeah, to the man. end. Yeah. I'll actually make it so I've only got about three or four mil. I can't get them that small. So it is over. Well, I'll show you a way. I mean, dead, oh, dead come easy. on, Jay. Talk me through it, dead, mate. Dead, dead easy to do. And I can, you make little tiny Dacrons that make it so you're still direct. So as soon as a fish pulls it, it's pulling on your elastic. It's yeah, not got, yeah. like you said, that, that Dacron isn't turning over. It's straight, straight onto your feet. Fish. And you've got a fish, yeah. I like that. So can't wait to see this, folks. So what, play with that and show us what we do. What we're saying is get off the plastic connectors and the cross foots and that other one that we won't even mention. Yeah, the storer one. <laughs> the yeah. storer liney one where you like keep on wrapping your line around. There's, a, there's not really a time and a place for it, is there? No. no. Not having it, Jim, not having it. No, I don't uh, And fan. get onto these two. Yes, they are the ways of connecting your elastic. But now I'll show you how to make one. Right. So normally... Come on, mate. I'll be happy it. using one of them. Like I say, well, in a, yeah, yeah. if I was fishing on deck, my heavy elastics, my... What are we going to say? Ten Heavy, upwards. mate. Every few is like a six year. Well, when, when, when I'm not fishing shallow, when I'm not going to fish the yeah, yeah. F1 shallow, do you mean I'm happy using my normal Twizzly Matrix ones? Yeah, like that. But for, like I say, for the shallow fishing for F1s, what I want to do is I want to get my Twizzle bit, I want to get it, and I want to throw it in. Bit. Say what? I love like Twizzly bit bits, mate. Because I love them little beads. Nah, yeah, yeah, they so are. Hold them right. for me. Oh, is that beads, mine? My beads are beautiful. Cheers, mate. Yeah, I like so that. What I've got, I've pinched this off the off the posh oh, carp mate. anglers wall when I've been down at Big Chicks. Put me onto this. And it's you? well worth it, it's some coat of braid. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I've got some of that stuff, whatever that is. That's a, a posh carpy type braid. We're on the right, it's one, right camera. Box. I did I stole it from Matrix when I was down there. Sean let me have some. But oh, anyway, right, okay. That, that's all it is. It's, it's a coat of braid, isn't it? That's what yeah. you have there. A thick coat of braid. Not too thick, because it's a bit hard to knot then. Just what what's that? But you've like done the right thing, pounds. you've experimented with them, haven't you? Because I remember reading you said, no, try this one, it's no good, you need that one. Get this one. It's just supple enough to to stay stiff, but Cheeky. Still have a bit of flex in it. Yes, so, like that. literally, I'm going to get my coat of braid, I'm going to double him up, and I'm going to make a little tiny loop. And I mean, probably See, 10 this mil is long. where I can't cope. I can't be doing with this. I wonder what yeah. you do it. So I just want one 10 mil loop. So I'm just going to tie one overhand loop, and I want it really, really, really small. So I'm going to pull it down so it's all the way down there. So my loop's dead little. That's a proper little baby one. Proper little baby loop. And then we're going to get, let's get in. Get me loop tire. This is just to pull it tight. So he's nice and tight, yeah? Nice. And like I'm that. gonna leave this tag end. Yeah, that's the dead important bit. Yeah. So I just I'm gonna cut off without cut myself. You're getting the confused look on my face, Rich. Yeah, and it's only confused. I can't get my blade out. Doesn't say much to be fair, but uh watch yourself there, Jay. That looks a bit sharp. So I'm gonna trim him. Sharp tools. So I've left that. Right, come on. Yeah, I've left this. Yep, like you that. Me? Yep, yeah, yeah. And now I'm gonna tie my elastic on. So I've got a little bit of elastic. That obviously, if I were if I were attaching my rig, it'd just be a case of doing that. What's he doing, folks? What's he doing? So I've got one little knot. That's me. That's me elastic attached to it. Whatever oh, knot right, you yeah, want to yeah, yeah. put on. Yep, yeah, yep, and then yep. trim that. Get that. So whatever. So my elastic's attached as if I was going to attach me. Yes. Me that next, and then literally with this bit, I thread him through there. 
So I'll go flat end to thin end. Yeah, so I've got that on there. With me? Yeah, Mum. And then let's see now, pull the, pull the <laughs> knot through it. Go on, Jay, get some. And he pops on. Right. And he ends up with a beautiful. See what I mean, folks? He's always thinking, isn't he? Like right, that. Wrong side. A bit sharp, that, Jay. That looks well sharp, Mum. It's a silly sharp one, that. Don't give me that. We're up with a little silly, and he's trimmed that elastic. That the bottom amazing, end. Mom. But that was a little diddy one. Do you know what I mean? I'd, I'd like that even smaller again. I mean, I'd be happy with that being a little bit and smaller. That, that is that's direct. That, so you're it? direct, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm tight to me bead. It's still sound. I, mean, I can still put my rig on easy enough. But like you say, you've not got that flipping over or yeah, that. Yeah, it's yeah. immediate on and your fish is on. Do you know what and you've got the added advantage that that's going to last. It's not going to cut through your elastic anything, no, is it? that's the thing, yeah. So you get the same thing, but without wearing your elastics out. So it's beautiful. Love that, mate. Liking that? I'm taking that. Rabbit, taking that, that, folks. So yes, well worth a try. And then I'll pull the sheath over it. <laughs> yeah, you ready for the sheath? Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. No, no.